Recall that a rational expression is a fraction that has polynomials in top and bottom. So when you're working with rational expressions, that means you're working with ugly fractions. That means for some of you guys, this is going to be a really difficult chapter in your math class if you don't have a strong fraction background. Think back to your third and fourth grade teachers. If those people weren't very good teachers, you're in big trouble. But don't worry, I'm going to help you with them. So the first thing I want you guys to think about when you're adding and subtracting fractions Go back to your third and fourth grade classes and how you had to do common denominators. You're going to have to do common denominators for these rational fractions with x's and polynomials and stuff. So before you start your homework, it's a good idea to review what you already know. Check it out. If I had to add these three things, when I think back to my third grade teacher, Mrs. Manning, she taught me that I had to find a common denominator for each one of these. 9 fourths, 1 half, and negative 3. I'm going to write that as negative 3 over 1 so I can see it as a fraction. These denominators all need to be the same. So I'm thinking about what number do 4, 2, and 1 all multiply into. And the number they'll multiply into is 4. In order for that to be a 4, it has to get multiplied by 2 over 2. I'm really just multiplying by 1 there, right? 2 over 2 is equal to the, is equal to the value of 1. I haven't changed the value of that 1 half. Same thing here. If I want that to be a 4 in the denominator, I'm going to have to multiply that guy by 4 over 4. Now let's rewrite it. 9 fourths plus 2 fourths take away 12 fourths. Now I can combine these fractions because they have common denominators. That's the most important step you guys are going to have to remember when adding or subtracting, subtracting rational functions. They have to have the exact same denominator in order for them to be combined. Then you just look at the tops. 9 plus 2 is 11. 11 take away 12 is negative 1. So my final answer for that sum and difference is going to be negative 1 fourth. Keep those ideas of finding common denominators in mind when you guys move into your homework about adding and subtracting rational expressions.